Why is this former candidate for president smiling? Because of all that we have achieved together, because of all that we will achieve. Though it is time to go through the legal formality of shutting down the presidential campaign, in a very real sense, this campaign is permanent. We are not giving up. How could we? We are never giving up, but we are going to continue to fight in a more effective forum. For now, with the end of the primaries, the official Ron Paul for President Committee has closed its doors. After 17 months, so much hard work by all of us and more than 1.1 million votes, I am no longer an official candidate for president. But with your help, I intend to do something far more important. Organize the Ron Paul Campaign for Liberty. Now, does this purely regulatory change mean that our goals at the National Convention in St. Paul, Minnesota in September have changed? Not at all. We must take back the Republican Party. We need to take back America for our ideals. Our delegates and alternates will still attend the convention, just as will the delegates of candidates other than McCain. Our official guests will still go, and Ron Paul supporters will have a very visible presence at the convention. Unfortunately, we cannot expect a nomination from the floor or a speech from the podium. The powerful elite will not permit it, just as they did not permit fair conventions at the state levels. In state after state, our efforts were met with distorting, ignoring, or even breaking party rules to keep our numbers artificially low. These dirty tricks cannot be reversed with parliamentary fights on the convention floor. The cards are stacked against us, so we must adapt our strategy to the circumstances. A little fourth generation warfare tactics might be in order. Think of us as the fast moving colonial guerrillas. They are the rich, entrenched, slow moving redcoats. They can be beaten. We alone must choose the right times and places to peacefully confront them and run rings around them. So many volunteers have fought at the precinct, state, and county levels and deserve the highest praise of every American dedicated to freedom. I am so impressed and so grateful for your efforts. The awful treatment you received at many conventions reminds me of the lack of respect that the politicians have in DC for our Constitution. We have our work cut out for us, but remember, the more they abuse the rules to keep us out of the process, the greater the energy and enthusiasm that's generated on our side. We will never give up. We will never give in. We will remain true to our principles, but for now, our energy and enthusiasm must be channeled into positive actions that will speak louder than all the lame demands for unity. We must never give up our core Republican values and blindly support empire, needless war, corporatism, and a police state for the sake of unity. On the convention floor, we will be visible and participate to the best of our ability under the rules without demonstration or disruption in our continued effort to return the Republican Party to its limited government roots. We will not be defeated. We have the enthusiasm, the excitement, the energy, and most of all, the philosophy of liberty on our side. We may not hold the control of the convention in our hands, but we possess the keys to our country's and our party's future. Our presidential campaign ignited a revolution. Politically, the ideas of liberty seem to be in a coma. America has received a wake-up call. Of course, our revolution is only in its early stages. To carry on the fight, now and in the future, I am establishing the Ron Paul Campaign for Liberty. This is a long, hard fight, but together we can do it, and we can win. The fantastic success of the grassroots in organizing and fundraising for the presidential campaign has caught the attention of millions of Americans, and many congressmen too, and scared the pants off the party. In some areas, we got more than 40% of the vote, but those votes are only the tip of the iceberg. I am convinced from my travels across the country that there are many millions more who are sympathetic to our message of peace and freedom. It is our job to mobilize them. For the sake of all we hold dear, our work must continue and expand. I am so impressed by how much effort has already been put into grassroots party organizing. The young people especially have put their heart and soul into this effort. 
many energized candidates are now running for office. Our people have influence precinct and larger party organization in every state. We're already changing the Republican Party. Frankly, all that has happened was far beyond my expectations. There have been so many wonderful unintended consequences in this past year and a half. Meetup groups still meet. Some have book clubs to study economics, history, politics, and the Constitution. On Facebook and MySpace, thousands gather. The Republican National Convention offers us, though the opposition doesn't think so, a great opportunity to bring together thousands of us who are dedicated to the cause of liberty to celebrate our successes and make plans for more in the future. This can be done in a positive, visible manner. A huge rally will send a powerful message that not only should the Republican Party re-examine its values, this country needs a new direction, and you and I know what that direction is. We must demonstrate that there's a lot more needed than repeating the cliche that we need a change in Washington. I hope you will join me in St. Paul to show them the difference. The change this country needs is very specific, and that is where our campaign has excelled, stating clearly and succinctly the precise changes that are absolutely necessary. Flag pins and sermons are not the issues. We need changes in foreign policy, monetary policy, domestic policy, and tax policy. We must deal with the runaway deficits and the impending bankruptcy of this country, as well as the loss of civil liberties here at home. And above all, we must restore respect for the rule of law by insisting that our elected officials obey the Constitution. Unfortunately, the leadership of both parties basically agree on the current system. The rhetoric of the party leaders may differ, but their political philosophies are essentially the same. Even though the power struggle between the parties is real, behind the scenes, the kingmakers cover their bets regardless of which party is in power. But the American people are waking up. The failure of interventionism, militarism, inflationism, and corporatism has prompted 90% of the American people to come to the stark realization that our government system is broken and we cannot continue with the status quo. The huge mess that we're in presents a great danger to our liberties and to our economic well-being, but it also provides a great opportunity for us to present the case for liberty and reverse the tide of authoritarianism. It is for this reason that I have established the Ron Paul Campaign for Liberty. It will enable us to do far more than the old campaign committee. We will build on the huge success of our internet supporters and volunteers on the ground, and we will support candidates, change the party, lobby against legislation that threatens us, produce TV and radio ads, reach everyone from homeschoolers to seniors, build on the success of students for Ron Paul, and educate Americans in freedom, sound money, non-interventionism, and free markets. We will work against the Federal Reserve, the income tax, the planned war against Iran. We will not be silenced. We will not be stopped if you help. Join me in this great work. Become a member of the Campaign for Liberty. Go to our website, www.campaignforliberty.org. For the